Anyways, so I guess that's some sort of weird intro into this video I wanted to make. And it's answering the question of the two very similar design now that I'm looking at it. UV Fusion and Amonia. Would they make a great support team? Because as I've learned from the video with Chieftain Alarok and the dog Jack Rasail, usually attackers might not even matter anymore. It's about how good the support is. Because if the support can disable the enemies, they can do this and they can do that, then the attackers just gotta exist. So look, here's the idea with this team. So boom, look. Oh, well, hold on. First of all, I'm gonna have to... Rotten's Trap. Okay, that's nothing. Boom. I'm just using her like Dark Voltaic and killing him. Alright. Uh, sorry, this... I just had to do that for fun. Anyway, so back into the meat. And then look, the idea is she'll turn transfer over here. And she'll like, trait disable. Her stuff will kick in. And then she'll turn transfer to the attacker. Who now, there's a trait disable and a positive effect removal. This is for if you like, don't have Shadonia. But you want like, an evasion protection, you know, damage boost protection team. And then boom, you just send Dark Voltaic off. Which, you know, I should mention a Volt Fuse, which is a UV Fusion and Voltaic, like, they're on the same team. Wasn't even on purpose, but Voltaic, since I didn't get Robo Rabbit, Voltaic is still the go-to infinite extra turn monster. So, yeah. Boom, and it worked out pretty well that match, although there was no anticipation, like... It was almost a, like, a good enough battle to where I could say that proved the strategy works, but... Oh, okay. Oh, now here is... Oh! I'm sorry for all those weird noises, but this is the perfect showcase. So, look. I cleanse shock off myself. I cleanse, which this is a very popular team, which is why I'm so glad to see it, and I'm so glad to know that this counters it. So, look. I end up positive effect removing and giving the damage boost, right? And I turn transfer over here. Both of those are dodge area monsters, so I trait disable him. Now taunt is gone, and it's only two dodge areas. Then I trait... Then I, whoa, extra turn over here, and since her, both of their extra turn moves cleanse, now it's just Voltaic. And now that it's just up to Voltaic, he can kill. Boom. Wow. I did not expect this team to work out this well. Boom, wow. Jeez, Louise. I don't know why I always end up saying jeez Louise in these videos. Like, I never ever say it in real life. Oh, misclick. Alright, but yeah. Wow, this team really works. Boom, boom. And you know, now it's just up to Voltaic's classic. Now it's just a Voltaic classic kill everybody motto. But yeah, wow. This was a team I was scratching my head over all day. And like, it's not even like, there's no point for UV fusion, because I turn transferred over to her. And she trait disabled and turn transferred. She could turn transfer back, if that's what the strategy calls for. But she just trait disabled and turn transferred right into the, uh, to the monster. Whoa, here another one. Is this... Is this team, like, a bit broken? I don't know. Oh my god. That was the worst thing that could have happened. Don't do Scorpio's intuition. <gasps> oh my god. Turn transfer right in. Positive effect removal. Tireless Capricorn. Trait removal. Boom. All of the defense is gone. I can't turn transfer back into her. But I can turn transfer into here. And jeez, wow. I am so glad this team is working out this well. I really, I'm blown away. Don't tell me you have face shield. Fossarius. Oh, thank goodness someone, someone wackily gave you frequency gauntlets. Which not that bad of an idea. He, he gives nanovirus. He, he would be pretty good multitask. But yeah.
Wow, three easy wins in a row. I'm gonna go again, just because I feel like... Wow. No, I'm actually fighting, like, teams with pretty made of monsters. Yurio. Uh, just... Teddy Bomb. A Mega Taunt Monster, a Pierce Monster. A Taunt Monster, even. I'm gonna go again. I don't know why I keep getting multiplayer chest tier 1. I want higher tiers. But still, yeah, this team is, like, really good. And it gets the job done. Oh, that was weird. Loading, loading, loading. loading. I don't know, my internet's been pretty weird today, so... That might just be it. Yep. How did I know? Then give me a second as I uh, I fix these technical issues. Wow. Okay. So this team is doing really well. So I'm just jumping right back into this next one. I just saw a comment that truly made my day. By quite ML. Like, hopefully you see this then. So that does, you know, that does do my heart good to know that someone out there watches my videos. Oh, and look at that. It actually starts off with ultimate AoE protection. Because positive effect protection evasion, dodge area, dodge area. Alright, so watch this. Wow. This, like, this isn't broken at all, but it's really, really working. Like, to the point where... Wow, well, Omnia really makes this game easy mode, I'll be honest. Look, and I turn transfer over here. I get rid of dodge area. I turn transfer into Voltaic with... Now, he doesn't have that, uh... Now, not only does he not have poison, which reduces damage output, he has damage boost, which increases damage output. Wow. Just wow. You know what? I'll just let him do his thing. Okay. The phase shield. You know what? At least that means there's not a phase shield on fought on I'm gonna get it. Fruit taster. Cause a phase shield on fruit taster is a lot more annoying. Also, people who have like kill streak on dark voltage scare me. But this team, wow, I don't whoa 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 whoa. Okay. Unlimited volts. Let's look at this. Cleanse, damage boost, cleanse, oh my goodness, then, whoa, whoa, wow, oh my god, if you can't tell, I am, like, super happy at the results here, I'm only getting multiplayer chest tier 1, but still, that does not take away from the wins, this means I'm not getting that much gains, but I'm definitely beating these guys. Wow. Just wow. Okay, yeah, look at that. At most, like, he could only take out one person. Alright. Oh my god, this is another perfect strat. Look, okay, so I really didn't need to do that twice. Actually, I did. And then I turn transfer over here. She trait disables the uh, taunt monster. Then she turn transfers back over to Omnia. Then she removes that dodge area. Boom, just drain some stamina. Let's do it again to Yurio. No! It still works. No, it doesn't. Catholicon, okay. That throws a monkey wrench in my plan. But that's actually good, because if your plan can't take, like, a left turn, then it's not a good plan. And then, I think he could still just beat this anyways. But the point is, like, if I hadn't misclicked, I still would have beat it just a bit easier. So this is just insane. Face shield, alright. You are the bane of me. How long would it take for Dark Assault to kill... Dark Voltaic.
All right. Look at this. Dark Vol take. He's got the ultimate persistence. All right. Now, okay, now stop. Now stop. You're getting a little bit too carried away. Oh, I hate to waste a trait disable, but I got to. Boom. 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 Turn transfer back over. And, uh, yeah. Just start kicking him till he drops. Alright. Now, here, I might lose. He's gonna turn transfer into him. And, alright. I'm glad to see that we could actually end it off in a loss. Because I don't want to advertise, like, instant winning when I win, like, five matches in a row with the team. I do want to end off in a win, though, because this team is then so fun to use. Okay. Heldosia. Heldosia. Ooh, okay. Another counter to my team. Which, this is, like, a real counter. Alright, so boom. Boom. Oh, he's going to do an AoE, right? Don't do Thaloscar, please. Please do an AoE. Still works. Just DV and his girlfriend. Just absolute. No, not even girlfriend. Wife. Dark Voltaic and his wife just take out. <laughs> they, they take out the slumster and his buddies. So I should be saying like, wow, there's actually fear to be going up against a uh, a Lord Nabotus with a Dark Voltaic. Because even those Dark Voltaic will forever be doing more damage, right? Like, he'll forever be able to do more damage than Lord Nabotus is able to take away. Like, because strike for strike, he'll always be stronger. It's still scary. Pack, oh! You're still dead. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Is that Fundy's trap? I'm impressed, confused, and scared that you would buy it. Still. Well, that was just classic Dark Voltaic dominance. Anyways, yeah. I Honestly, I really hope you enjoyed this video because it was so fun to just take this team out. Because I had... I was really hoping this team would actually work in the meta. And it really showed off even against an anticipation monster arguably the strongest anticipation monster behind galvanus the lord nabotus but yeah i uh, hope you enjoyed this video please do give it a like comment and i will respond i'd love to hear your thoughts on this team what i could do better um anything you know um please subscribe think about subscribing to join the crab arm and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, your favorite Omni's Crab, signing out.